There was me, that is Alex, and my three droogs, that is Pete, Georgie, and Dim, and we all sat in the Corova milk bar trying to make up our Razadox what to do with the evening. Here's your look in the new Stories, Clockwork Orange, Defo Real, Alex Delarge. X Plus is proud to present the first Defo Real figure from the Stanley Kubrick classic film A Clockwork Orange. Alex Delarge, as portrayed by Malcolm McDowell, was a juvenile delinquent prone to ultra-violence and anti-social behavior. This defo reel features the realistic head of Alex on a stylized body dressed in his classic white gang costume and his bowler hat. Before we get a closer look at Alex Delarge, the first thing we're going to want to do is figure out how tall the figure stands. While I'm doing this, I'd like to thank the folks over at Starrays that provided the sample of Alex that we could have a look at in this review. Most of the sites have this guy pre-ordered for March 2021, so he should start be popping up soon. We're going to take the tape measure right to the very top of his bowler hat, stopping it right there. And according to the readouts, Alex stands 5.885, or let's just call it 5.8 inches in height. Switching that to centimeters, revealing that the figure stands almost 15, 14.9 14 centimeters to be exact. Just for some size comparisons, and I'm sure because it can be super trippy, let's bring in one of the other defo reel figures that we just recently had a look at. This was Caesar from Rise of the Planet of the Apes with his spear. They're roughly about the same height to one another, although you could say Caesar's a lot bigger in proportions than what Alex is, but they're roughly about the same height to one another. Man, that was trippy. The accessories that come in clue with Alex, let's have a look at those right now. He comes in clue with his black cane. The cane appears to be all molded in the plastic rather than actually being painted in black. It does fit into his hand, but not probably the hand that you would assume. You probably would have guessed that his hand would be this one right here. On the, on the contrary, it's actually this hand right here. Let me show you. We'll go ahead and pick the figure up. For starters, I just want to say... What a fantastic likeness. As a super stylized Malcolm McDowell, boy, does that ever check off all the necessary boxes for what Alex Delarge looks like from the classic film Clockwork Orange. I remember first seeing that film in junior high, going into it not really knowing what to expect, leaving the film still not really knowing what I've digested. It is definitely an interesting film, definitely not recommended for younger viewers. But we're going to go ahead and take the cane, and like I said, it doesn't go into this hand right here. Instead, what it does, and I, I like the way that they've sculpted, first of all, the hand, in the way that you don't necessarily have him sporting the cane if you don't want to. I mean, it just sort of looks more like a gestured hand, like he's summoning his goons. But we can go ahead, nonetheless, and take the cane, slide it in between. You're basically going to be sliding behind his pointer finger, and it just slides right down into place. You'll also see, too, like there's a little groove kind of left there to guide your way. But you're basically just going to slide the cane down, slide as far down as it will go until it essentially just stops abruptly right there. Boy, does that ever look sharp. I know I'm going to be restating the same thing I just finished saying, but I like the fact that you do have the option available the way that they've sculpted a hand that if you want to go without the cane, you can completely leave it off and it doesn't look like the hand should be holding something in the first place. The other accessory to come in clue with Alex, like in the film, he comes in clue with his mask. Now the mask, let me just show you. I'll hold Alex while I'm doing this. He's got some nice airbrushing of black along the top and a nice airbrushing of the red down in the nose. There's also little areas of the red done also in the cheek area, but this attaches to Alex. You're probably thinking to yourself, does it attach by friction? No. What that was smart on their part was that they applied magnets on the inside. So when you attach it to his face, all you're literally doing is just lining up to the eyes and putting it in place. There is also enough gap space between the cane and where his, his mask will go that you don't necessarily have to worry about, well, the cane's already in his hand. How am I going to navigate the mask around it? It can do fine. It has enough space between it. Again, because it's magnetized, you can decide for yourself if you want to have Alex displayed with or without the mask. Even though I think the mask looks nice and it's accurate to the way, of course, it looks in the film, I think I'd be more prone, I feel, to display Alex without the mask just because the sculpting on, on Malcolm McDowell's face is so good on this figure. I'm probably going to be more inclined, I think, just to leave it off. Speaking again of that head sculpt, that is classic McDowell. 
Malcolm McDowell was certainly one of the, in many, many great films, Time and Time Again was another great one I liked him in, and also Star Trek Generations. Yes, he was the time tra traveling, I think it was Sauron, his name was, in the film. Malcolm McDowell has always been one of my personal favorite actors out there. And of course, he was also in the Rob Zombie Halloween, both one and the second one. Let's go ahead, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and take the cane out of his hand, just because I feel like it gives us a better opportunity to kind of look all around at the figure's head sculpt. Not only do I think the head sculpt is top notch on this, short of it actually not having a glass of milk that he can hold in his hand, I guess that could be, if anything, a missed opportunity. They probably could have given him like a little glass of milk in his one hand. But other than that, I mean, there is nothing I would change to this figure. Again, it's that stylized design of basically an oversized head on a slightly smaller body. I like the pose of this. I like the sculpt of this. I even think the paint is really good on this as well. Kind of got some mixtures of lighter flesh tone and then added in there some airbrushing of like a pink color. Really does look nice. Of course, he's got the one eyelash there on the one eye. The other eye doesn't have that. Nice coloring also done to his eyes also. Of course, he's got his bowler hat. You can't remove this. This is all sculpted to the rest of the body. And the figure doesn't possess any articulation at all. The whole thing about the Defo Rail series is that they're stacked statues with oversized proportions. Again, really large head, really slightly smaller body. Doesn't really quite proportionally line up as it normally should. Nice, although it touches a detail I like, is that they've, they've sculpted and airbrushed a vein on the side of his hand. Long hair, of course, dripping down on the on the side of his face. You can still see his ears tucked in behind that. Flip it around on the other side, you can see the exact same thing on the other side. Like this figure looks good all the way around. Some other things to point out, of course, if you're fans of the film, he does have the little eyeballs there on his sleeves. That's gruesome, but he does have those. And they're nicely painted in there as well. Blue Eyes is the person that he decided to pluck these eyeballs from, a blue-eyed person. But you can see the little strands there, the way it's attached to his sleeve, that's gruesome classic looking uh, clock, clockwork orange outfit here with the straps of course and the slightly lower under thing areas that he has on his costume really just a weird bizarre mixture of a costume that they wear so strange love it though on the back though you can see again that continuation i feel like the paint here probably isn't as strong as it could have been down here it's not too bad like the the cream color that they use down here is pretty good but you don't see as much of it here on the top. I just wish that they, they had had a little bit more on top of it. But it's not even just a straight white shirt and white pants. As you can see, there's a whole lot of additional coloring that they added to it. Some nice additional grays, even a little bit of black wash that's been added in there as well to really accent the, the form and the wrinkles of his costume. Now, the thing about this particular figure is you probably have already seen at the beginning of this review, when I had him starting out just as I was measuring the figure, by the way that he's posed, you can see he's slightly leaned to the side. And when you look at him from the side, he kind of has a hunch leaning forward. The thing about this particular mold is if you're looking at it from certain angles, if you're looking at it from like from the top, you're going to lose some of those features simply just because, again, he's got his hat hiding most of it. Obviously, I'm only doing this for the sake of the review. Normally, you're a perif, you'd be looking at it straight on. And what you're seeing straight on is a really good-looking Alex DeLarge from Clockwork Orange. Again, my hardest thing about this particular figure is how I would want to display it. In some ways, I actually like the idea of even displaying him without the cane. I'm sort of torn as to whether I'll display him with or without the cane, but I think when it comes to including his mask, though I appreciate the fact that they would have included it with it, I appreciate, first of all, that you can remove it. It doesn't ruin the sculpt because it is magnetized after all. But even though they went the mile in giving you the mask that he has in the movie, I think the head sculpt in this case is just so good and such a bang on likeness to actor Mac Malcolm McDowell that I feel probably more inclined to leave it off completely just so I can actually see how good this figure is on display. Many times, just as interesting as the movie it is itself, is talking to people and hearing their stories of the first time that they watched Clockwork Orange. Many times, half the people I have talked to didn't have any idea what they were expecting. They either had just heard about it, people had said, hey, you should watch this, or sometimes they've sat with friends and the friends have egged them on. You really have to watch Clockwork Orange. And then the friends just sort of sit back, look over and see the reaction on that person's face as they're watching the violence unfold. For me, my story about Clockwork Orange 
is I went into it not even knowing what to expect and I went one better. I bought it as a sealed brand new copy at my local video store. I had a little bit of time on my hands, a night to myself. I decided to watch Clockwork Orange and I had no idea the violence that was going to be presented in front of these peepers of mine. Even after the movie was done, I didn't really know how to really digest what I have just seen. Of course, since then, I've seen Clockwork Orange several times after that, but I always find it fun to bring a new friend into the mix where I can say, hey, you want to watch an interesting movie? And they say, hey, yeah, sure, what movie? How about watching Clockwork Orange? And then you can sit back with popcorn and just kind of watch not so much the movie, but watch the reaction on their faces as they're watching the film. Certainly, I know I got a little bit sidestepped here, but the Defo Real release of Alex DeLarge perfectly presents Malcolm McDowell as he fe is featured in the Stanley Kubrick. I wouldn't even say smash because the movie I don't think was successful when it first hit the theaters. Again, people had no idea what they were seeing. But based on the cult classic Clockwork Orange, I think Starry's and and X Plus did a bang up job on the release here of Alex DeLarge. He comes with a couple of accessories. And the good thing about this particular mold is that the way it's sculpted, you can either go with or without the cane, or you can go with or without the mask because the mask is magnetized. I like the fact that they did do that. Didn't lock you in that you have to have one specific way of displaying the figure. For the time being, I'm just going to be displaying it with the cane, but I think the head sculpt is just too good to have the mask covering over top of it. I like also the pose that they put him in and all the things that you'd expect Alex DeLarge to have, even like the eyeballs on his sleeves, captured perfectly from the folks over at Starry's and X+. Plus. Speaking of which, I'd like to thank the folks over at Starry's that provide the sample of clockwork orange defo reel Alex DeLarge that I had a pleasure to look at in this review. For your video question for today, you can probably see where this direction is actually going. If you've seen Clockwork Orange, tell, you, tell me your first time watching Clockwork Orange, why you watched it, and what you thought of the film after you've seen it. I always like reading your comments down below. If you guys are also new to this channel and enjoying all the content you're seeing, because there's always new stuff coming your way, make sure the crucial thing in all of this, you don't have to drink your milk, you don't have to sit on weird looking tables, but just make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, make sure you turn on the bell notification, and make sure, yes, you come back to this channel on a daily basis. I could, of course, just omit the fact that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and about two times a day, we usually post videos. But anyone who regularly comes back to this channel will probably know there's always new content coming your way. Keep your peepers on your sleevers peeled. See what I did there? Because there's definitely a lot more stuff coming your way. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.